up everybody it's your girl Shantae back with another episode of chatting with Shantae how in the world are y'all doing me I am doing fabulous I know long time no see I be trying to upload a few little quick little videos on here but child I haven't done a sit down chit chat book talk video with y'all in the longest time and for that I am so sorry okay I know like so many of y'all have been like okay girl where are the book videos what's going on I'm so sorry now I'm here okay we back but if you really want to keep up with me and see me on a daily basis, then you should follow me on TikTok because that's where I'm the most active. I do my book talks on there, music, TV shows, everything, movies, life stuff, everything I do on TikTok, okay? But I need to come back on my YouTube because I miss y'all, okay? So I'm here. So I'm going to be talking about four books, all right? I'm excited. And three of them I've read. And then the other one I'm currently reading. I just started reading it. So I'm excited to get into it because these books, you want to talk about some emotions, okay, all right? So if that sounds good, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when I drop a video, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, prop your feet up, and let's get it, let's go, all right? So y'all know your girl loves some urban fiction, of course, all right? But I've been dabbling into other genres as well, so I have some um thriller books on my to be read and you know probably gonna start reading in june and some romance novels who am i becoming okay but i do have um two urban fiction books right here and then a thriller and then romance so we got a little bit of everything in this pile right here so let's go through the books that i have already read so this book is called rich wives association by india and i actually stumbled upon this book in walmart right so basically you're following or we're following the lives of five different women and the thing that they have in common is they are the wives or they're associated with these wealthy men so they live this lavish lifestyle big houses cars flashy this jewelry designer this traveling money at their fingertips fine husbands you know glitz and glam red carpets whatever but all that glitters isn't gold is the theme of this book because behind closed doors we learn that these women who are living these lavish lifestyles they are paying a steep price to you know live the life that they've been provided you know due to their husbands and the people that they're involved with right so so many different emotions like i knew it would be drama and i knew it would be talking about different uh triggers that would be going on you know but chow the directions that this book went i wasn't expecting it it was a page turner i read this in a day do you hear me i read this in a day i could not put it down and the thing is you know how sometimes when we're following different storylines one or two storylines may be more intriguing and interesting than the other ones and then the other ones you're kind of just skimming through like okay whatever no each storyline is more intense and interesting and just thought provoking than the last like you're finishing one character and then you're like oh okay now let's finish her and then oh okay her like it's so good but the way this book went i was like now wait a minute y'all like honey so again trigger warnings um domestic abuse spousal abu abuse physically verbally mentally um i don't want to spoil it but death of a child okay now that's not really spoiling it because you know there's more than one child in here but that does happen at some point in the book child neglect um cheating of course um drugs uh murder like there's a lot that goes on and this book is 266 pages a fairly quick read but so much is packed in these 266 pages so if that is something that you want to um read you think you can handle it because again it's really interesting the storylines the the way it's written is amazing but i was like and it was at one point where you're just talking to the book like no oh my god wait no like just so many different emotions so again i stumbled upon this at walmart okay in their book section and of course you can probably find it on uh amazon maybe kindle just you know different uh book websites but yeah rich rich wives association baby this had me be floored okay basically so another emotionally <laughs> draining book but so amazing and i'm so sad to hear of her passing but she did give us one more banger okay she did tracy brown hold you down baby this book i sat here right here 
crying my eyes out. It's been a very long time since I've cried my eyes out at a book, like for real. This brought out every single emotion from happy to sad and everything rage anger neglect, not neglect um regret um just so many different things so this follows the lives of two sisters okay mercy and lennox howard and it's taking place in new york city late 80s to early 90s so that's my vibe already right there okay so basically we have two sisters lennox and mercy okay mercy being the oldest and growing up they didn't really have their mother around so they uh they were already sisters and loved each other, but they are true best friends, like ride or die, I got your back, you got my back, and they really learned early on to depend and lean on one another. So due to them not having their mother around, that kind of shaped the way that each of them, you know, turned out to be, right? And that's kind of the theme in this book as we get introduced to their children later on. So Mercy is the more mild-mannered one. She likes to think things through. She likes to have an organized plan. She doesn't really act on impulse. You know, she likes to, you know, take her time. She works in a hospital, but she has a dream of opening up her own restaurant and things like that. And then her sister is the complete polar opposite. When the book starts, we get a clear idea of how each sister is and what their personality is like. Uh, excuse me, Lennox is the more wild child. She says what's on her mind. She doesn't care. Like she's the one that you have to say, girl, we're on you are you, you on speaker, okay? Be nice. You know, you she's the one that you have to, you know, calm down. She's not really looking for, looking for anything stable as far as career, but she does want to live a lavish lifestyle. So when she embarks on a business venture, I'll say it like that, that brings in a lot of money to provide for her and help her sister and her nephew and her son, then you know, they start to live this lifestyle, but she soon finds out that what she's entangled with isn't really what she should be entangled with and you know it's a dangerous game and it, it her decisions really affect and impact not just her but those around her so like i just mentioned her nephew and her son each um woman has a son so mercy's son is judah and he's just like his mother okay very mild mannered you know straight a student you know he's on the right track and uh lennox's son dion he's a lot like her wild child you know what's good you know mr cool you know and it goes from really heavily focusing on the sisters and then it starts to become kind of like a coming of age but not to a point where it feels like young adult it's still very much adult and you know mature but now we're seeing how mercy and lennox lennox's upbringing and their decisions you know whether good or bad really impacted judah and dion and how they navigate their own lives you know how they saw their mothers be and you know all that good stuff so it has so many different themes and layers but it's all under the umbrella of family what you're willing to do for your family what you're not willing to do for your family like mother like son like mother like daughter um generational things generational um uh, trauma and curses um how two people can grow up in the same environment but turn out completely different and also learning to you have to at some point learn how to live your life for you and not other people um you can't help people who don't want to be helped it's like a lot of those different themes but again it's all under the guise of family and this book whoo this book so good if you have read anything by tracy brown y'all already know okay and if you haven't i highly advise you to get into her um her collection because so amazing just her pen game amazing and i'm so grateful that i had a a moment to give her her flowers while she was still here she saw uh, my tiktok video she ended up following me on tiktok and she saw you know how i was feeling about the books and she gave me some kind words so i'm super grateful to have had a brief yet amazing moment with her and when i found out she passed i was like what tracy not i'm crying again like what's going on so amazing writer not just urban fiction but just in general so her name her legacy will live on forever so my condolences to her friends family loved ones and may she rest in peace she she did her big one with this okay so yes hold you down by tracy brown just have your tissues ready okay have your tissues ready you're gonna laugh you're gonna have some funny moments and good moments but be, be warned okay now 
Okay, so this book I saw floating all over social media, all over TikTok. And I remember seeing it at one point and then I kind of forgot about it. And then the other week when I was in the bookstore, the title and the um, cover caught my attention. And I was like, that looks familiar. And then when I read the synopsis, I was like, oh, I saw so many people talk about this. So this is The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. So we're kind of taking a shift from the urban fiction. And now we're more into the psychological suspense thriller um, genre, which is one that I don't dabble in that much. I've read it before, but you know, far and few between, right? So this is basically about a married couple, Sarah and Adam Morgan, their college sweethearts, you know. Sarah is a very powerful, successful defense attorney in their area. She's the partner at her firm, never loses a case. You know, she's top notch. And Adam is a writer. He had success at the beginning, but now he's in that struggling phase where the works, his uh, latest works haven't really reached the same success as his first few or whatever so he's kind of in a rut so they do have their primary home in which they live and then they have a lake house as well so uh, basically Adam has a mistress okay and while they're at the lake house you know the morning after she's dead okay the mistress is dead okay and of course you know them being at their lake house and Adam was the last one to see her and all that type of stuff he is looking like the main number one suspect okay so uh, um Sarah being the top-notch attorney that she is she's like now there's no way my husband would lay a hand on anyone let alone kill them so I'm gonna take on his case to prove his innocence and I was just like Sarah are you better than me so you mean to tell me the reason why you have to defend your husband is because he has a mistress. What? So we have to see that journey of her trying to, you know, kind of keep her composure because yes, he's my husband, but he's also my client. So I got to have some type of professionalism, but also this is personal because the reason why, you know, he is, you know, on trial is because, you know, he may have murdered his mistress, you know, like, I don't know. He's being accused of that. I don't really know. Okay. So, um, those are the two main characters, but we also do meet some supporting characters, but they all play an important role. And, uh, by some point in the book, after you've pretty much met everybody and got a gist of their vibe, you're looking at everybody sideways. You're looking like now, okay. Okay. And I vividly remember at one point I said, the only person that I trust in this book is blank don't you know that was the person not to trust i was like and maybe it's because i don't read that many thrillers so it may be easy to catch me off guard baby when it all came in together and it was revealed on what happened and who did what baby i scrumped the scream that i scrum okay i was in my room going crazy i was like what I was like what like I was going crazy okay now there were some people that was like oh I saw it coming it was predictable boom, boom, boom. okay again the, these are people who read suspense thrillers on a regular basis but this was such a good book if you want to get into like suspense and thrillers and stuff like that and it's not too scary or nothing but real interesting good page turner I would say um read this I liked it um there was a lot of hype around it and I see why okay listen i told one of my new uh tiktok friends hey mckenzie um you know she had read the book and she was like girl i just couldn't and i was like baby this book is stressing me and then i came back i was like by the end of the book i was cussing okay so yeah this book stressed me but not to the point where i wanted to put it down but to the point where i was like now i have to figure out what happened i have to figure out who did this like i'm stressed not knowing and child i loved it okay i really enjoyed it so this is a good um kind of reintroduction to this genre so yeah the perfect marriage by geneva rose she did that geneva nini you did that <laughs> and now for the last book that i'm going to be talking about and this is the book that i just started reading uh last night basically so this is a romance novel Ooh, okay so this is before i let go by kennedy ryan and much like the other books that i have nothing but amazing reviews on this book like everyone has put this in their top five the, across the board i haven't seen not one slightly remotely negative thing about this book i am super excited first of all this cover 
gorgeous okay and so i am excited to see black people fall in love i really am okay so basically this is like a second chance romance novel so we have a newly divorced couple yasmin and josiah wade they've been divorced for about two years they have two children and they also run a business together so they're kind of in that stage of yes we're divorced but also i don't really want to see you with nobody else because you still mine but i have to move on because we're no longer together but also you fine like i listen i'm excited i'm only on chapter four or about to be on chapter four and i'm already liking the vibes okay we got all these black people on here or in here and baby it's an uh, attitude and it's just like i don't know i just love those like those steamy moments like you know when people are trying their best not to you know i don't know i don't know i just like this okay i just like this already and i haven't even gotten to thick of it okay now i will say okay just from the first four chapters that i've read thus far there's just one character that i'm looking like you gotta go you gotta go you gotta go i don't like you i don't like you okay now i don't know if i'm gonna end up changing my mind later but as of right now as these first four chapters baby i don't like you you can go you're not needed you're not needed you're not okay like don't make me mad but i'm excited and i'm really curious to see because it's obvious that they were madly in love okay like madly in love they had that oh we're gonna be together forever type of thing and then something happened not really sure i'll find that out you know as i keep reading but something happened that led to their divorce but there's still that you know warm that soft spot that they have for one another and it's soft enough to leave room for possibility of a reconciliation type of thing but i'm really interested to see are they meant to be like should they be together am i going to be rooting for them please get back together please or is it going to be no y'all should really stay apart Uh, uh no there's no reconciliation there's no hashing this out no y'all are better off as co-parents and business partners i'm really curious to see how i'm going to be feeling about these two people but yeah but that one character baby i don't like you i don't like you okay and you ain't even do nothing just yet but i can just i feel like you don't know your place okay i'm gonna just say that i'm gonna just say that okay but yeah i'm really excited to really get into the thick of this book because the way everybody and their mother's 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 mother has given this five stars across the board and i believe that this is going to be made into a tv adaptation i believe on peacock so i'm really excited to see who they cast and how it pans out on screen but again i'm only four chapters in and i'm already like oh i like the vibe of this it has a vibe to it that i really really like and again this is kind of like a really good reintroduction to black romance okay because i haven't read it in so long but yeah before i let go by kennedy ryan i'm i'm here for it so i hope y'all enjoyed this video more videos on different books will be coming soon and i missed y'all okay i missed y'all i know y'all been like now girl girl where you at okay you on a little clock app on tiktok you need to come back on youtube i'm sorry y'all i'm sorry but i am here okay and because i have so many books all right i have those but i have so many other ones we're we gonna be here we here okay so i love y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video bye <laughs>